The following podcast is likely unlistenable, unintelligible, inarticulate, and problematic, and will probably ruin your day. But if you have any pity in your big red heart, you'll listen to these four handsome boys. Please, bro, please. They need this so bad. Just listen. Did you write a joke for us for the cold opening? Uh, what do I have written down here? Check your notes. Check your material. Uh, Ooh, I wrote down some notes. Okay, what do you write? Okay, let's... One sec. Um. Oh, it says here... My notes just say balls. We can talk about that. Your What's your favorite balls? ball? We can balls. talk about that. Just balls. What's your the favorite pic- ball? The Pixar one that's in all the movies. I the Pixar it. balls? I don't, I don't know what that is. The Pixar ball? Like You know, like the Pixar ball with the big that's star the Toy on Story it? one? Yeah. Never mind. Oh. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. I would Fuck you know Never know what I'm talking about, ever. You guys don't have any... You're so uncultured. I bet if I said you're the ball... You're so uncultured. You don't know the ball from a... No, I bet if I said ball, I bet if I said the ball from Sky High that the girl turns into and uh, Bruce Campbell as the gym teacher goes side kick and then he kicks the ball off the stage during the montage where they show all their powers, you wouldn't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the girl never, is. I've never seen that movie. Turns into a hamster. Uh-huh. Side kick. Right. Yeah, then he turns into it. a hamster. I love Marty. that. I love that movie. Get your butt out of my face. Get your face out of my butt. I think I that's a that. completely that's, that's different from G- I that's, love that movie. That's so actually much. from G Force. Sky High G-Force. is where uh he c- it's like invincible but shitty. It's like it's shitty like invincible. Zoom but better. Zoom Academy for superhero. It's like Zoom but without Tim Allen. So not Zoom good. was better. I've never seen Sky High. I've seen Zoom. It depends if you're more of a of a like good actor Kurt Russell or horrible piece of shit boomer Tim Allen. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with Tim Allen? What did Tim Allen do? Yeah, what did Tim Allen do to you? This pissed me off, dude. Well, what did he do? Did he go? Nah, he's mm-hmm. just, he's uh-huh. just gone a, little, he's gone a little too far. If if I see Tim Allen go mm-hmm. one more time, I'm gonna I might lose it. I might have to intervene. <laughs> shit. Guys, I'm gonna have to intervene. Intervene business. If this whole is Israel. Palestine situation doesn't fix itself. I'm gonna have to intervene. I'm gonna have to send Buzz Lightyear in. Uh huh. And he's gonna handle it. <laughs> You're not that guy, pal. You're not, You're that, not guy. that guy. You're not that guy, pal. And you are. What's oh. that from? Absolutely. That's the rest of the video, moron. I've never seen that video. <sighs> you guys are so okay. uncultured. Anytime I say anything, you guys. <laughs> if I bet I was talking about balls and. Balls, you guys would know what I'm talking about. Yeah, how does it feel now, Noah? Dumbass. Welcome back to Post on the Hill. It's the podcast for Uncultured Swine by Uncultured Swine. I'm, of course, joined by uh, my three top cultural they have their finger on the pulse cultural scientists uh matthew cosron hello bc farrell uh by my calculations uh you guys are dumb dumb as hell man the the jokes today are just these are (laughs) top shelf and march from babel (laughs) man tim allen would uh would love this i'm feeling a little i'm feeling a little burnout maybe we could uh skip this episode we can't skip this episode it's the 69th episode wait this is episode 69 yeah what are we doing why the fuck would you not say that ding 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 i didn't want to say i didn't tell him that before i didn't want to make this episode gross dude what are you talking about it's the sex number dude it's fucking hilarious keep like a sort of like a family friendly vibe for this one shut no like a whole shut the fuck up why would you do that you're are you like, trying to are, make are you yourself baiting? look better than us? Kind of so like you don't tell us that it's the 69th episode, so we do kind of stupid be like, jokes, an and you're like, "Well, you guys suck. You guys suck. Your shit be like an ironic big. thing that would be like bingo, a bingo, Yeah. So bingo, now look at us. Now we look like fucking dumbasses. Great. Okay. Well, what? How, how does? Okay. Well, go ahead. What? What do you have planned for the 69th episode? What? Did, I just oh, if I knew I don't have anything the 69th episode. Know. If I knew it was the 69th episode, I would have said something funny. I would have been funnier. 
We just have to, we we to put in more effort. But now can, it's well, over. We can, now we can, no, make this, we can make this a sexy episode while still while still uh, catering to the to the the five year old fans by making this an an educational episode. Like I think I have a good way said. to I have a good way to do that or a good sort of story or headline. Um, I guess it would be like a response. This is more of a response to our episode where we talked about uh, Batman eating pussy. Um, did you guys see Zack Snyder's response to uh, the controversy about whether Warner Bros. won't let Batman eat vagina or not? No, I didn't. What is? What did he say? If I could make like twenty more movies for them, <laughs> I would do that. He 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 just said he just said canon, and he posted a picture. He just like some porn art of Batman eating Catwoman's pussy. Hell yeah! <laughs> that just went canon. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> I didn't know he was writing for DC now. So he <laughs> he is writing for DC. It's like I guess I mean I guess not. I guess to him it's canon that Batman would do that. But it's also to me a very like Chris Chan move. Like, that's something, like, Chris Chan would do. And it is something Chris Chan did. When, like, people... Everyone was making fun of his webcomic and, like, calling all his characters, like, gay and uh, transgender and, like, were, like making fun of him. Because, they, you know, it was the time that was what you did in the 2000s. Of course. Make, Not what just, I did. Make it was something the status angry. quo to... So, uh, Chris Chan, like, yeah. responded by making, like, naked fan art of all his, like, characters and, like, have them, like, fucking each other and, like... Oh, hell yeah. Man, and that'll like, get him. Drew porn it's of his characters. Job. And then someone was... People were, like... The big thing at the time was everyone was trying to make him... Or they were saying he was gay. And, uh, obviously he didn't, he didn't approve of that. So he made fan art of, uh, himself, like, fingering one of his female friends. Uh, right, I do remember yeah, that. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of fucked up. That. Like yeah. a real life person. Mm -hmm. So it's not to that extent, but that's what the Zack Snyder tweet kind of feels like to me. It's like that's it's not what really, that feels like. It's not. Well, it's not even a joke. It's not. He didn't even make a joke. It's just like a picture of Batman eating pussy. It's like not it's even funny. It's not really that. It'd be funnier if it was like way more graphic. What do you, what do you want him to say? <laughs> want like Catwoman? You, want, like, tell, tell me what you want Zack Snyder to say. Make like a joke. Or that post was a picture, joke. Post that was picture funny. Cat woman eating Batman's pussy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That why, would why? be fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why is that funny? Because it's like not what you expect. Because it's making fun of transgender people. Is that why it's funny? No. Because oh, it's topical. The, the early two thousands called. They want their Chris Chan memes back. I mean, it was on Twitter, so you could yeah, you could tweet that at him if he posted that. Uh, anyways, Warner Bros. sent him a copyright uh, strike on the picture yeah. and, and removed it. Good. So. No, tweet. That's so it, funny. It's just deleted. Yeah, Good. dude, it's bullshit. Get fucked. Fuck you, Zack Snyder. We'll see what you. Guys, what are you guys up to today? What are you? What? Are, what do you got for me? What, uh, how, are you, how are you celebrating? Well, I the, was uh, gonna make a funny joke about uh, 69ing, but <laughs> but I'm gonna save that for the 69th episode. Yeah. Yeah. You, you love it. Look, I don't um, know. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I, I, I was all hyped up for what we were doing. And then you were like, no, we're going to do that later in the episode. And then you, and then you're like, so, guys, what's up? How's it going? How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> where, it going? Like, How are you guys doing? T tell me. Head, no. Get, what do you have for me? Give keep me your something. Head, keep your head free. Why can't you just keep your head free? You have multiple ideas. Why you got to fixate on, on one well, idea? Why do, why do I, why are you going to put me on the Trouble spot like focusing that? focusing on multiple things at once. We Basically. were talking, we were talking, what were we talking about before we started? We were talking about, right. oh, actually, let's All not right, talk about it. that. All right, fuck it. Let's just, but let's get into that thing. I'm bringing back, I'm bringing back. I told you guys oh, this week, I want to bring back a, a, a bit that I started a couple episodes ago that I and think I've revamped. Popular. I've revamped it. Welcome back to Snapchat Battle Royale. It's where we pit uh, various hilarious uh, Snapchat live stories against each other in a, in a Yu-Gi-Oh style battle. Um, we, were each, we each made a deck out of uh, different of the Snapchat Discover stories. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have them fight against each other, basically. What I'm thinking, what we'll do is uh, we'll just post the, post them like one at a time in the Discord chat. Uh, 
and we'll just post like four at a time, and then we'll just figure out <laughs> out of the ones that we posted who uh, who would win in this fight. Does that sound good? You following? Yeah, yeah. Is this canon. Yeah, this is this canon. is. Canon. Does anyone have that as a story? Because that would lose immediately. So I'll, I'll advise you now. I will. I will not let anything to do with Zack Snyder win. Uh, can I have five minutes to prepare then? Wow, sounds like <laughs> someone's angry at Zack. I only selected. I actually went through and only selected Zack Snyder stories. So uh, I'll need a minute. <laughs> All right. Um, just make sure you read uh, the description for it. This is. It's going to be a bit like a chaos. You know, remember Chaotix? You guys remember Chaotix? Uh, y- that's the one where you played and then you became the monster. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. Yeah. So we're sort yeah, of becoming cool. monsters by doing this. Okay. All right. So welcome. The game is the game begins. Uh, and I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna place the first card here. I'm gonna go and okay, I'm gonna so summon. I have to go on my phone now. Do, 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 I cool. am gonna summon the ground worker who likes to dress as a baby. No. Uh, that's pretty fucking. Yeah. Oh. My Cat. first monster. That's I, bad, dude. I have a perfect counter. Let's see you counter a ground worker dressed like I a baby. I have the woman who gives birth in a jail. In oh. a tank. <laughs> because <laughs> she brought him into this world and she can take him, she out. Can take him exactly. out. Exactly. All right, Basie. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, well, uh, edit all this out. I have to crop all these stupid fucking photos. Okay, well. Call her Look, doctor. Do yours, I got, I I've got Dr. Gaines. I didn't crop mine. But it's Dr. Gaines. And she is the one that's helping this woman give birth in a jail cell. So I actually have total control over the situation. Holy shit. She looks like she's dying. She's gonna. No, she's giving birth. I had Dr. Gaines in mine. (laughs) Oh, really? Okay. Well, you should have played it then. Uh oh. Cancel the note. You're you're stuck, dude. Oh, sorry. What's yours, Basie? Yeah, it's coming. Right here. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Oh Ooh. shit! Easy win, dude. Why Hollywood stopped casting Freddy from iCarly? Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. She's sexy. Because he's a Why? looper. He's, he's a, a looper. looper. <laughs> no, that's Matt. That's from Looper.com. He can actually. loop through time. He's, he's a, a looper. A looper. No. Remember that movie? Oh, Whoop? he's a whooper. With, uh, what's <laughs> what's his name? Bruce Willis or something? Some shit. And yeah, he has to kill like his. That. That's what. Self. Or his that's, younger self has to kill that's, him. That's the whole joke. Um, okay. That's why Freddy came back. Freddy finally looped for me. Freddy Fox. Um, oh, that's the joke? Sorry, Noah. My bad. Who would win? The ground, so the ground worker who likes to dress as a baby, the woman who gave birth in a jail cell, Dr. Gaines, or Freddy from my Carly. Freddy Ark from my Carly is uh, dead immediately. Sorry, Basie. Freddy from my Carly. That's dead immediately. That's li- oh, Noah is the arbiter of comedy, apparently. Yeah, okay, well... You know, speak your piece. You know what? When speak for your champion. Look at his as face. As look as at him. As, he looks you know so hurt. Eh, it's my turn to be the arbiter. As soon as oh, Freddy, okay. as soon as Freddy enters the room, he rips the groundwork who likes to dress as a baby's head off. And he's not, not that strong. Died. He's not that strong. <laughs> Doctor also, Gaines look, is that strong. Also, if you look at the picture, the groundworker is protecting his ba- his head and neck from oh, Freddy attack. He, oh, he's really? blocking. Yeah. What about the woman who gave birth in a jail? Well, okay, well, now it's my turn to be the arbiter, okay? okay. So, let's go, Master Chief. What? Well, okay. see, with the see, woman... The, ar- see, the arbiter is from Halo. Halo. You can see some sort of smoke covering her bottom half. I think she's a type of ghost. I think it's just um, censoring her vagina, no, no. giving I... birth to a baby in a prison cell. Okay, <laughs> nobody's given a case as to why they could beat Doctor Gaines. Oh, but, so. Yeah, I, honestly, I think Doctor I think Doctor Gaines takes this. And Wait, that's who's Doctor Gaines? Well, Merchant didn't crop his oh, okay. uh, deck. Why don't you look at the picture? There's only uh-huh. one Doctor Gaines. Oh my God, no! Look at what the fuck? What is wrong with her? Like. That's not real. That's oh, body not real. shaming. Okay, that's not real. Cool. Yeah, body shaming. I think literally <laughs> that's unhealthy. That is like. Oh, are you that... a health expert now? Oh my god! Yeah, her, her, her ass yeah. is bigger than her torso. Some people will have. Yeah, you have. Oh you have god. God. <laughs> that's not. I don't. Basically, you're very <laughs> breedable, and I've always said it too. That's kind of fucking. That's the opposite of gay. It's the opposite of Gaines. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll give it to Dr. Gaines. I, I think she I think 
talk. So that's a point for Merchant. Congratulations, Merchant. But easy. it's not over yet. I believe in the heart of the card. That's like easy game. Okay, Merchant. That means you have to summon easy. first. Yeah, you summon I first. Have to, I have to start. Yeah, uh, yeah. you won. Well, that's easy because I've got the most viral Spider Girl on TikTok. So. Oh, shit. And look well, at her. I also she, have that one. Oh, I have is, that one. She is accurate because yep. look at her. She shoots from. Behind. And I have that one too. So canceled out, idiot. Oh well, shit! You negated. It? Negated. You just play. okay. Well, that's stupid. I'm You're stupid. I'm, well, Get I, fucked. All right. Well, then it's me. Play a caution move, and I'm going for. Uh, will my mom recognize me without tattoos in defense position? Oh shit, Matt. You oh, are wow, it is in defense position. Matt, you're fucked. Cause get ready for. 23 inch, 23 <laughs> biceps. Oh my Holy god! Fuck at 20. <laughs> 20. Yeah, that's 23 what is he do biceps at 20. Crushes head. The size of Donkey Kong. I would love to see these two fight. The guy who will un- be unrecognizable to his mom with tattoos versus the 20 year old <laughs> with 23 inch biceps. I mean, he's going to be unrecognizable to his mom once uh, the 23 inch bicep guy smashes his face and. <laughs> But what if the what if the, what if the twenty three inch bicep guy can't find him? What if yes? Yeah, what if he enters the fight with tattoos and then yeah. halfway through the fight like, he deletes his tattoos? He's like the chameleon, dude. So yeah. that's a good point, actually, Matt. <laughs> I think he has a tactical advantage, but I also think the guy with the I biceps him in defense position. <laughs> that's why he's in defense position. That's exactly. true. He's a, he is a tactical master. But um, it depends on the arena, because I feel like if we're fighting in the gym, which appears to be the home of uh, yeah. the ben- the 23-inch bicep the, the man. The 23-inch bicep man, yeah. I think he That's would have true. an advantage. As well, we didn't to establish where we're white, fighting before, white and, so we can't use that. Let's just, Okay, let's establish fair. this is a universal battleground gym. right now. A universal gym? Yeah, fuck you, buddy. They're in... Um... Well, no, you need to find a stage now from one of the Snapchat stories. Final Destination. All right, let me look. Online. Let me look real quick, and I'll find uh, the stage uh, while we get ready for the next round. By the way, I my last card was already used, so uh, I'll I will really? it the next. Well, round. we well, only we made have, two. So you have to use okay. it creatively. I found the perfect stage, actually. Okay, Matt, you post it because I I'll, I found a very good stage too. Good. All right, they're on the street in front of a car. That's <laughs> oh, <fuck>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna post uh, Roshan Prince. I was gonna say they can I was gonna say oh, they can fight in the honey hole. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think. Okay. Uh, well, that's the thing. Like, I think, I think the road, the twenty-three inch bicep guy would actually win. Yeah, but because in the he honey can see. Hole, I think, I think the the unrecognizable will be able to uh, change him, change his skin with his tattoos and and hide. True. Oh, watch. I think it's yeah. fair to say it's a draw. It's a bad. It's, it's I think it's going to be a draw. I think they would make friends to fight a bigger villain. Mm-hmm. I'm going right. to go first this time with okay. uh, Nick Davis in attack position. Oh, no. Oh, you're with Nick Good Davis? Night. Good night. A, ripped, well, a black and white I'm, ripped man. I'm going for it. Who's saying goodnight. My ultimate move. Amaranth got banned on Twitch for this. No. no. A, mic. a microphone. Yeah, she was making licking noises and she got banned. Oh, shit. That's me making licking also, noises. Also, she was in tight pants and she had a camera. Oh, is that a that's a problem? <laughs> tight pants are a problem? Then sue me. Then I guess well, I should answer the show. Uh, we'll go on saw Twitch the streams. and get in a hot tub and then show their whole asshole. So it's like, get the Christian moms out of the committee. That wow. gets banned. I, guess the, I guess the whole issue is... Uh, but I guess it's okay for those kids to listen to XQC and watch yeah. XQC. And- yeah, and but what about people who get banned for uh, like Forsen, who gets banned for showing uh, that, that one is. frame of a horse cock? Huh? Exactly. I don't know who that is. This is bullshit. Well, well, is well guess what? Amaranth did easy. not show a frame of a horse cock. So ergo, exactly. I know, and she got banned for three days, and Forsen so got banned for a month. March and play your. Play but she your doesn't card. show. She doesn't show cock. So what's your point? True. So I guess that's the issue. So I guess if you I don't, win, don't show but, cock. But wait. But anyways, what's but your didn't didn't so, crop it again? Well, because I didn't crop it, that means I can change my answer. Okay. So I'm actually. Yeah. Well, no, you're my, not. Because whatever one you say is your answer. In the bedroom. 
Miley Miley reveals what she likes in the bedroom. What she likes in the bedroom is killing her enemies. To win the fight. Yeah, to win the fight. Winning the fight. Exactly. Miley reveals what she likes in the bedroom. (laughs) I think I win this one, guys. No, you do you do not. Let me I don't have a I don't have a dog in this race, so let me kind of analyze it here. Okay. Analyze it and Nick Davis. Why don't you play your card? Nick Dave, because I I used all mine. I had the same one as Oh, you are. I had Dr. Gaines, stupid. and I had the 23-inch bicep guy, and also the same as someone Why didn't you, you oh, and the, play and the Dr. Baby, Gaines? And the baby man. Nah, that wouldn't... Well, we've already seen it. That's tired. That, um, okay. I mean, I think That's Miley reveals what she likes in the bedroom. Maybe what she likes in the bedroom is to be told goodnight, because she's going to sleep. Well, maybe what and she we, likes we in look the bedroom at, is and we look hammering, at flicking her ears. I found a good-looking stage for them to fight on. There we go. Well, like sausage time lapse. Sausage time lapse. Like that was actually my nickname in high school. Sausage, <laughs> sausage time lapse battle. Exactly. It even says battle on it. So That's... they're fighting on the sausage time lapse ba- battle. Miley has just revealed what she likes in the bedroom, which is to fight. Uh, Amaranth is getting banned. Amaranth is she's is gone. Sorry, basically, but she got banned. So she's That's getting true. banned to fight. She didn't get banned. It doesn't she say she got banned. She's, she's banned. She's the forbidden one. What are you talking about? It doesn't about? say she got banned to the Shadow Realm and then came back she's with She's literally banished, powers. dude. I'm summoning a banished card. Mm-hmm. I think... Are you but, dumb? That's the I most think, powerful thing you can do. Oh, basically, doesn't that mean you're going to have to... You're going to have to play a card to remove? Yeah. Marchin's card. I play oh, Marchin's fuck. card to remove it. <laughs> I'm playing Exodia the Forbidden One, She's and you're going to say, Meh, Amaranth, uh, I hate women, so Amaranth you can't died. win, Basie, because I, I hate women. Think, I just think Nick Davis doesn't have, like, the horny mindset. That no, you don't think Matt's been uh, uh, queer baiting with every one of his submissions so far? Exactly, no, I have. The Matt's I queer baiting. Been. I've been queer baiting. Yeah. What was his last submission? My first one was a woman giving birth in jail. Yeah, that tattoo I, guy, queer baiting. First one, a woman giving birth. Woman I mean, giving birth, queer I mean, baiting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't think I can. I don't have think you that. can say that. I don't think I can have that published. <laughs> Sleep it out. It'll be funnier. <laughs> Man, I, I stink right now. Um, congratulations. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was. Whoa, can we talk about that? that? Jesus. I'm gonna keep talking about it so you literally can't cut it out. The what rest. Oh, what Noah stinks? literally just said that he stinks for no reason. Noah stinks right now. Well, there's obviously oh. a reason. Noah's I'm stinky stinks, right now. Guys. He hasn't like showered a, in weeks. Like a, this is the stinky episode. You don't want to yeah. sixty-nine. This is the Jesus. stinky sixty-nine episode. Let's you take a 69. Bath you, 69. you went at sixty-nine with me. What? I had sixty-nine with you. Who? Um. Oh, any of you? Amaranth. Amaranth. I don't know who that is. Some, I do. I know who she is. girl licking the ASMR microphone dressed as Spider-Gwen. It's like that dust that they send to people that kills you. Yeah, I think that is what it is. Cocaine? <laughs> Asbestos. Oh, um, yeah. Can we talk about um, John McAfee dying in prison? After saying... We, this, um, we this, didn't segment, even finish this, segment. this segment has been brought to you by... John McAfee dying in prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk uh, about yeah. that. A little dying. word from our sponsors. John. Yeah, so he uh, went crazy, tattooed, <laughs> whacked on his arm, and said, "If I die, I'm suicided by the CIA." And then he died. Yeah, because Viper, so? the rapper, killed him. So oh. did did he get suicided by the no, CIA? No, probably not. Probably what not. Do you think? No. Well, let's say, did it say suicide or did it say he was like a really old seventy year old who died in prison? I don't know. I don't know. I just think it's crazy that we were talking about him and like fucking whales, and then literally, we, I got a text from him being like, "I'm dead." Awesome, awesome episode, and then he killed himself. <laughs> so we're responsible. you don't know that happened. I kind of. I, I have an idea. Oh, yeah. you have a reasonable suspicion? Huh? It's just too bad that he died in prison and not. Having his like balls and cock and ribs crushed. Well, yeah, I feel like he would have liked dying having sex. I, I don't know. Something. If if there's anything I know about him, it's that he's he's kind of an evil genius. So if if anything, I think he killed a, a prisoner 
and put his teeth inside that oh, prison shit. to make them set him on fire identif- and set him on fire exactly to falsely identify him. Isn't that him. like an Archer episode? Don't they oh, do that oh, in Archer? Oh, I don't know, basically. Like Hawkeye? I think how, about, a, how in I real think life? A couple times it happens in Dexter. I think oh, it yeah. happened in John McAfee's real life where he. Dexter's really Laboratory or Dexter? Both. True. I think, I think John McAfee. Matt is right. John McAfee is like an evil. Per, like, often you like can't really identify humans uh-huh. as evil, but John McAfee is like. Probably like an evil guy. Yeah, of Just course like he's the, an evil guy. The, but he's the, only the, evil because he's like. Because we think he's evil, right? Like, he's had. He's been on so many drugs. He's. He's beyond the our perception own comprehension. Of, yeah, the of perception reality. of good and bad don't really, don't really apply to him. Exactly, like because we we have no idea. We literally cannot even comprehend John McAfee and his brain. It's McCafe. Yeah, he's like he sent his soul into like the the blockchain, and like when once people encrypt it, it's going to reveal all the secrets about the government and then also he his <laughs> i don't <laughs> his instagram posted q <laughs> which is like, <laughs> it's like it's just yeah so it's like <laughs> it's is definitely definitely He's nothing Q-Nod. definitely like his attack his account getting it getting hacked <laughs> it's like well you never know like the people that actually follow that shit and are like more the people that are you know inclined to uh attack capitol hill probably going, alienating half our viewer base here I'm sorry badass he is though don't give, give a shit yeah th- how could you kill someone who owns that, that many cool? guns uh, yeah. this this is from an article from the u.s sun john mcafee's ex-prostitute wife janice Reveals how she was ordered to poison him after he left Jungle Harem of seven women. Women. Yes. Jungle oh. Harem. <laughs> yes. Jungle Harem. Yes, he had. He had a lot of. <laughs> yes, I, I watched Haram? an interview or whatever with some of the the prostitutes he had, and they were like, "Oh yeah, John wanted like twenty four seven. Like he wanted to go like twelve oh, hours straight. Yeah, they would. God, they would like, shit in his me. shit in his mouth and shit. Yeah, they. Uh... And you're shaming him. No, I'm saying like, yeah. Look how at did this you not, How do you not know? Man. How do you not know this? <laughs> look at this just. I was. Man. I was. Apparently. He liked getting shit in his mouth. I'm just saying it's a weird way to die when you're John McAfee. What in prison? Yeah, being suicided by the CIA. I don't know. Yeah. Sounds sounds right to me. Sounds like what that's how he was going to die. Was, what if it was the CIA suicide him? What did uh, like because of the jungle harem? Because the juggle Arab, yeah. I don't know, because he kept saying he knew like all the secrets. He said he literally said he gifted computers to the fucking Bill defense Gates. minister with like viruses on them. And so he knew a bunch of shit about the government. I believe him. I believe him too, and that's probably why he was killed. <laughs> Imagine well, how many secrets he stole a bunch of secrets. <laughs> you look- well, like, is that is that how he stole the the government secrets from all these harems? No, the computers just had the like Bonzi harem. buddies on them, and they would just. It was like the monkey virus, where there's a bunch of guys dressed up like monkeys, <laughs> and they just destroy everything on your. Yeah, when they turned probably. them on, there was a shortcut on the desktop that said "free Robux," and the CIA yeah. agents were like, "Oh fuck, yes, download Hell more." Yeah. They downloaded more RAM. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you think the jungle harem are... actually means he was just fucking a bunch of monkeys? No, that, but no, they don't want to. Matt, say that. I think no, that. they were women. They were real I women. Mean, I don't know. I think he only I fucked can't call them monkeys. I he know. I know. I just mean that. I'm just saying that I think John McAfee might have contributed to the spread of AIDS. I tried monkey buttholes. I tried googling what jungle harem is, and all I could, I just found an article where, that says PUBG violated Islamic beliefs. So, if that I, helps at I, all, a <laughs> jungle is harem destroyed. is just. He is just a bunch of the women he was the having animal. sex with. Have you never seen like seals, elephant seals? Oh, what so does that have to do with this? Seals? Elephant seals have They're hair. called women, Spacey. <laughs> they have. That's not funny. Yeah, but I'm telling <laughs> you what really jungle hard. harem means. You don't have to Google it. They're referring to he had six or seven you. women. 
You're right. Why the fuck would you? Why? I why see, should you? I see jungle I'm lying to you. Jungle I'm lying to you. It was monkeys. Are we asking for he was fucking Hagrim? eight monkeys. Fucking... You're right. No, you. No, we only have... got him. <laughs> I found you got the... him, and you fucking owned me, I dude. I lied to you. PUBG. I'm a liar. PUBG violated PUBG. Islamic PUBG. beliefs. <laughs> it violated. You only, ever, you only ever had sex with aquatic animals, anyways. So okay. I don't want to hear any slander. Well, see, that's the thing. Like he's, he's. He's already fucked the more of a man. reef harem. I mean, yeah, exactly. He's got an ocean harem. So yeah, exactly. what if what if to hide it they just they just refer to all of his harems by where they took place and when he was fucking animals. They're just like, oh, that was that was just his his ocean harem to make people that think was just oh, like thing, you know? oh, he was just fucking a bunch of women in the ocean, not mm-hmm. not whales. Maybe he should be dead. I think so. Wow. <laughs> Maybe the- you think John McAfee deserves death? I just think it should have been at the hands of a whale vagina. I yeah, mean, that yeah. would have been pretty sweet on his part. He got, he got sucked into it. Like a, well, I think it would have been like those crabs that, that, like, that sucked into the underwater pipes. Like, oh, yeah. I, but it's, it's, yeah, <laughs> but it's well, a whale's B- vagina. BC, I don't, like, I yeah. think if someone dies, like, trying to fuck a whale... Like that's uh-huh. that's on them. That's a way to go. I just think that's. I just think from that's all what of happened. The, well, that's all the what things happened. That, I know, but from all the things that he did do, I, that's the thing. I I wish that's how it happened. I wish it was that instead. That's, that's what, what that's he what he deserved. deserved. Exactly. That's what he deserved. That's what his legacy. That's what that's a Viking funeral. <laughs> that's what that meant. They that's place real you on a, were. They place you on a whale's vagina. And you get all your bones sucked crushed in. and sucked into it. Mm-hmm. What's it called? The uh, the the pressure. What's it called? P that something. The death grip. Yeah. No, when the crab gets sucked into the the pipe. Oh, the super oh. suck. The whatever the fuck it's called. Never mind. I know there's a salmon slinger. Crab getting sucked. Salmon slinger was also my nickname in high school. It's like a. It's like a. A term. It's like, is the salmon slinger what they shoot those salmon through the big tubes? To yeah. Get to another place. Do you want to? I want to go in one of those. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. I want to go and get launched into another river. I want to get farmed <laughs> by a fish by a fish farmer. We should convert this podcast into just talking about like hydroponics and farming f- shrimp and. Uh, uh, what hydroponics fish. is. Which one's the shrimp one? It's where you farm water. Like that's that's aquaponics. Shrimpaponics. That's Shrimp-o. what that one is. Shrimpaponics. We should all start. Uh, you guys should all come to my my goon cave. <laughs> I. Is that just another <laughs> term for your butthole? You know what a goon cave is? No. But I went the other way. It is the 69th episode, so. Uh, Please. I'm allowed to talk Tell about me. this. What's a goon uh, cave? It's. Uh, it's when you have like a room, like you know, like a man cave. It's like yeah. that, but like just for uh, for porn. Oh, okay. So, like you like so my room. So you hang up like there's like pictures of like there's like porn pictures all over the wall and like you have like the big like you have like a six monitor computer <laughs> to watch porn on. And people have like goon caves where like yeah I'm just gooning and it's like them oh, like God. they just they. Eating. Identify as pornosexuals. That's <laughs> the worst fucking term. Uh, want, and you guys like, want a goon? And they'll have like other people like beside them like gooning in their yeah. goon cave. Yeah, I bet they do. You guys want to come other to pornosexuals. Cave? I saw someone like gooning with my someone, buddies. Like, just like it's bringing it up. I'm like, what is that? And then I found like on Reddit like r slash goon caving. <laughs> and my, uh, my fight or flight activated. Yeah, Reddit needs to be eliminated. <laughs> Sooner rather than later, the, it, we need to get rid of it. It's not I just doing think, anything good for anybody. For me, when I see like Evil. porn pornography out in like the wild, and it's not like just like in a the privacy of whatever screen I'm using. And wait, it's, you like, like watching dogs me. fuck? What are you saying? No, you like, like when I see what I'm fuck. saying, like when I see like a picture of like porn out in the wild, or like like a on a screen, or someone else, like it just gives me like fight or flight. It's like. I shouldn't be seeing this. You know what I mean? Okay. Do you get My that? mom or dad's gonna get mad at. Me. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get in trouble uh-huh. for seeing <laughs> seeing the porn that they have. What if the mayor out? sees me looking at it? 
He'll so I don't him. understand like porno He's theaters. Wild. Like, how do you not feel like like something? Like, I don't know. I don't know what the. I guess the. That's why Pee Wee Herman went right to feel something. No, Pee Wee Herman went to a real theater. To oh, watch I thought a he movie. was at a. I thought he was at a porno theater. No, why would he get arrested for that? Because that's you the can't whole jerk point of that. Public. But you're not. I mean, technically, but you're like in a private room. Like, who you're going to go to jail for that? I don't think so. No, he, he was in a real life theater, watching like probably some kids' movie because he's a fucking weirdo. Ruben Paul Rubens was arrested for indecent exposure in an adult theater. In What's decent Florida. exposure? Like <laughs> indecent exposure implies like the nice, existence. Nice cost. <laughs> De- yeah, nice arrested. dick. Yeah, you, you, you don't get arrested for that. They judge you. They ju- they're like, yeah, your dick looks pretty nice, and then they let you go. In July 1991, Rubens was arrested in Sarasota, Florida, for masturbating during a film at an adult movie theater. Ooh, adult. adult movie theater. That means so when, fine. when detectives examined his driver's license, Ruben told them, "I'm Pee Wee Herman." I'm Pee Wee Herman, you have to let me go. I'm Pee Wee Herman. Rubens had been arrested in the same county for loitering and prowling near an adult yeah. theater. <laughs> yeah, he's shot. a fucking weirdo. Oh my gosh. He's a uh, fucking there... Keep it in your house. I is guess he couldn't. It was just hanging brain, okay? I don't see what the big deal is. Um, I'm Pee Pee Herman, okay? I'm P.P. Herman. P. P. Listen, Herman. Uh, yeah, no, I, I see you looking. How is his punishment? He has to legally I'm change his name to P.P. Herman. No jail time, though. He has to, he has to change the show title to P.P. Herman. <laughs> then he jumps. Do you think he had, like, a, a porno theater set where all the, like, furniture has eyes and arms and are, like, moving, like, ah! like, screaming at him like he has on his real set where, like, all the furniture... Sorry, I guess that joke only works if, you've, if you're familiar Watch. with P.P. Yeah, Herman. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, it's uh this is the culture episode. Well, I yeah, mean, where we talk about P B Herman and uh see sexual I, offenses. I just thought you were describing like the creepiest porno that you can make, which is like the all the furniture's having eyes watching you. I mean to be fair, the creepiest porno you could make would be on the set of the Pee Wee Herman show, the Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah, I've I uh, modeled my goon cave after Pee Wee yeah. Herman's house. <laughs> You guys want to come over to the goon cave? I mean, and really, any room can be a goon cave. <laughs> no, why do you always think whenever Craig shits the bed that we're talking about you? Huh? <laughs> what? Yeah, Noah. was like, March, when Craig left, I didn't... he was like, what the fuck? And then you're like, what? What did I do? I didn't do anything. It was Craig. Like, why you're do you lying. say things like that? You're Are gaslighting you? me right now. I literally I was like, I'm gonna use the washroom, and then I came back, and you're like, I'm gonna confront you uh, and Craig back in. Are you insecure <laughs> with the podcast? Is that what the problem is? What I, Craig left the thing left. What are you talking about? Wow, I think you're now, projecting now, your yeah. hate. You're right, projecting... Wow. I'm like, all right, let's take a break. I'm gonna use the washroom. Come back. And like, all right, we have some shit. <laughs> Why do you always think you're behind your back? See, like, I didn't now say look it. easy. It's <laughs> look here now. Okay. Oh, my oh, he's back. What is happening? This episode oh. is going to be fun. Yo, I want to hear the audio files for this. What is happening right now? He's going to send me like a hundred fucking <laughs> audio files. They're all going to be corrupt. They're all, yeah, they're all going to be like, it's going to sound like C3PO talking through a straw. It's oh, my terrible. God, Craig. Wait. Now, he, now Mark's he's muted. He's just named because Craig. Was he crying. always named Craig? I thought he had like something why, else on why, his name too. Why why am I? I don't muted? think Craig's Sorry, recording. What was that? I think he's just here, just listening to us. Oh yeah. He, it doesn't say he usually bot. does say like yeah, record. Right? Like it doesn't right. say record bot or something. So Craig's like, just bot. here listening to us. He's not even recording us. It's kind of fucked up. I'm gonna kick I'm kinda scared I'm of Craig. This out. feels like and then see what happens. This feels like unfriended, honestly. Craig's gonna kill Guys, us. Guys, who's like, that? Who Who's that in the call? But I'm not recording that channel. What? He says he says no. He refuses. Oh my god. Oh my god. We talk more about anus tech tips. Linus, if Linus tech tips, if he heard you say that. What's your favorite anus tech? He would freak out. Mine's the one where they eat. Mine's the one where they eat the Fruit Loops out of it. Oh yeah, that's a classic. It's my classic. (laughs) Mine's (laughs) Felch. 
felching. I learned what that was. Uh huh. You guys kept saying yeah, it the day, and You're I was welcome. like, "That's not so bad." That doesn't seem like a th- reactionary That's thing. So bad. I mean, it's the '69 episode. Mm-hmm. Everyone, everyone loves it. Ariana Grande wrote a whole song about uh, '69ing. About felching. Um, uh, and and felching. Oh God. And about our right. podcast. And about she yeah. says she wants to sixty nine every <laughs> host of every podcast. It was weird. It's a weird statement, and also like a big undertaking. I think. Um, yeah, well, you know, it, yeah, you know. Did you guys yeah. get a visit from uh, the census lady, the census Who? people? No. Who? Last week, they're they're going around asking uh, people to do the census to, to do, do the. Census. You know, you think they're getting my census? You know, it just yeah. makes census. They uh, the the other day, she like knocks on the door. She's like, "Hey, you're cute." <laughs> well, so I was getting I was gonna get picked up by my sister to go to work, and she was like, "Okay, I'm Whoa. coming now." And so I was waiting for her to come, and I thought that she was gonna knock on the door. There was a knock on the door. I'm like, that might be her because she has like the keys I need to lock the house. Because she was driving the car. Census lady has your very keys. Com- it's very complicated. Sure. But I open the door thinking that it's her. And I open the door and it's this like census lady with a clipboard. And there's a package on the ground. Like an Amazon package for me. So I'm like oh okay. She's just, she needs me to sign for the package I guess. Which is weird. So I like take the package in. I'm like okay. Like, she's like oh I need you to. Do you have like five minutes to do the census? And I'm like oh n- no. She's like, is no. there a is there a, like a time I can come back? Like you don't have five minutes. And I'm like, no, I I literally am leaving right now. Like I literally had my backpack and my shoes on. She's like, okay, is there a time I can come back? And I'm like, no. Uh, I should have said no. I'm leaving forever. Like I'm going to. No, you. I'm moving out. I was just like, you I like want to do the census. I was you just get like four hundred dollars uh, just for doing it. Do you? Yeah. Well, it doesn't well, matter said, if come you back don't do four. the census. It's like it's like not voting, and then being like, "Well, my vote won't matter anyways." Well, what's the census, the census equivalent? What's the census it? equivalent yeah, of that? <laughs> well, I guess they won't know that I'm a male. Identify male. And oh, I guess they won't know part. where I live, and uh, taxes won't be fucking put into my you know neighborhood or anything. They need to know who lives where. Well, I told oh, so, they, four. so they can fix our roads? Yeah, so, okay. So they can so they can fucking put yeah. pressure and, and on us and, and, and put it's just a nanny talk, state, uh, man. Do, do, it's just a nanny up, state. Up, they just want to know where you live and everything you do. Big brother. Yeah, yeah. it's big brother. Look, if, if the Barthwatch house had actually contributed to the census, the government would have come in and fixed that place immediately. It's true. Well, she never came to our door. Also, if she did, we would have hid. Like we did when the second time when I told her, yeah, four. And then she, it was literally like four o'clock on the dot, banging on the door. I'm like, <laughs> I told Amanda, hide. <laughs> we, Wait, are you hidden. kidding? Why couldn't you just do this? That's you it. are, you're not a fucking, you're not an adult. You should <laughs> actually be living with your parents right now. I didn't want I'm to. Not, not kidding. I didn't want to go to the door every oh time I go. God. Every time I go to my door, it's a hellscape. It's either the Easter Bunny looking to beat my ass, or it's an Amazon guy stacking up packages for the people that live upstairs. And then when I go to the door, he's screaming, <laughs> like he's screaming and swearing because he's dropping and opening all the Amazon packages. It's like I host a fucking kids show where it's like, ooh, there's a knock on the door. Let's go see who it is. And it's like the most boring, scariest people that could possibly be showing up to set. But anyways, I did it. I did it. The we she left the second time and then she she came again. She left us a slip that was like, here, just do it online. I'm like, okay, that would have been great to give me the first time. And then uh, it's like 40 minutes to do online. She came again and then knocked, and she's like, "Just five minutes. Like, minutes to do." I was like, "Yeah, that's door. fine." I just said I gave her my uh, nah, no thanks. my name. So I was I was born. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, I don't want you to know where I live. I mean, she already did. She could come at any time. Uh, yeah, probably and she did cool. multiple times. Now that now that they know where you live, they're coming to kill you. They're gonna they, me, They're gonna Who's hire they? me and make me do census reports. That would be the ultimate hell. Anyone- 
Oh, cool. would be the the real hell. ask people to do the census. Hey, do you have time to tell me how old you are? Look it up. I don't know. I'm on like Instagram, bro. Just look it up. Yeah, dude. Why do we Just need the census? My Insta. Why do we need the census if like every fucking? I mean, I guess like it's you know you can monetize it, but our information is fucking everywhere. Just look it up somewhere. Ask Mark Zuck, up, he, probably, he has all of our fucking thumbprints and DNA Who? in a little tube. Yeah, I don't know why they could just come to me. Exactly, the government should just be having to search our room every day to collect all our sperm samples. Government should just be searching our um, goon caves. Our goon caves every yeah, day. Yeah, they'll find a lot of uh, DNA goon there. Cave, goon cave census. There's a, there was a post on the goon cave subreddit that was like, <laughs> I'm part of his goon cave. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not even going to describe it. It's too graphic for even this show. Oh we my god. god. Yeah, let's see. Oh my this was supposed to be the wholesome episode. This was supposed to be the wholesome episode, and Craig left eight times and rejoined, <laughs> and now we have a new recording bot, Craig. New clone of him. We talked about disgusting shit. How do you guys... How can you live with yourselves? How, did, how can you did this? Yeah, blame me. How yeah, you, put, blame all you of your problems on me. This. How come you specifically did this? Why did you do know. this? I wanted to... Uh, hey, listen. All I can say is we do a little bit of trolling. We do do a little bit of trolling. I the, saw um, Basie put upload a virus to Craig. I saw Basie sell a virus computer to the U.S. government. To the U.S. government. I donated it, actually. Yeah. And then they a fucking... The, bon, the Bonzi buddy monkey... Kept popping up. It was a virtual buddy of Basie. You should be able to turn your friends into virtual buddies. That's the only reason that Bidden won was because of the Basie virtual buddy. Who? Bidden? The well, the the Basie Joe virtual. Biden? That, that's the Joe virus Biden? That you installed on the computer. Joe Biden. Uh, Bidden. Joe Biden. Bidden. Two nil. That's how. Two you. That's how his. That's how his mom told me to say it. Okay. Joe Bidden. Bidden? He bidden you would do. Who's Joe? Did you guys ever what's your did you guys ever get like a computer virus like that? Joe like, Biden. Person on your computer. <laughs> I did. No, I've never had a computer virus before. One Except time. for the one time I did have a computer virus. It's incredibly simple to not get a computer's virus. And it's I went on to I tried to log on to World of Warcraft and World of Warcraft told me I had a virus. So that's a and great it, antivirus. I said, click so click here to get rid of the virus. Yeah. And then you're like, I deleted the virus. And then it actually just what? downloaded the next expansion. There was a virus of hentai on my computer. My pants were slipping. It. My pants were slipping. And I deleted the virus. That's what I used to tell my parents whenever I was like... <laughs> Mm-hmm. Look at that porn in the dining room. <laughs> like, no, that's, that's <laughs> like, my friend from school, Asa like, it's Kieran. A pop-up, dude, it's dude. a pop up. Princess Peach naked. Oh, it's just a pop up. It's the classic pop up that shows classic uh, pop up. Yeah, Zero Suit Samus, the nude, nude hack for Smash. Oh, it's just a pop up that comes up. I didn't know. I didn't click on it. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Is Mark, do you have any input? Huh. Yeah. Did you ever look? Or, did you ever want to see like a nude mod of a character in a video game? Yeah. Wanted to see it? Yes. Ever downloaded one? No. No. Ob- no. That's what you asked me. You're like, you ever like get one? <laughs> well, I never got one. Well, I don't know. I, one, I think I've I told this story like a long ass time ago on this show, but uh, when I had action replay when I was r- really young. Um, it like updated once and it was right it updated right after I typed into new Super Mario Bros. Because you could type in your own cheats. I was like a dumb like ten year old and I was like, play as Luigi and then just like uh, typed a bunch of gibberish for the code and I was like, I hope it works. And then they updated the action replay and actually added the code that lets you play as Luigi. Holy shit. In that game. So like it worked and then so I immediately typed in naked princess peach. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it never came true. What? Yeah, so I had my dad Damn. call the company. Uh-huh. To complain. A, yes, we complained to email. Excuse me. Uh, my son was promised 
uh, Naked Princess Peach. Um, Can you please deliver my son the titties he so <laughs> deserves? Please deliver yeah, the Princess exactly. Peach coochie to my son. Did you ever hear about the story of the guy who was um, he won the like a Nintendo Power Contest to star in The Mask 2? Yeah. And they never made The Mask 2. So his like console, I think he got like a bunch of merch and like maybe some money, but like also part of his consolation prize was he got to speak on the phone with the voice actor for Princess Peach. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh like, what a weird, it's awesome. What a weird thing to win. Well, yeah, yeah, welcome to like the 90s. What do you think? They, what do you think they talked about? Maybe he just requested it and then just breathed heavily into the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Like what would what if that was forced upon you? You have to talk to Princess Peach. No, you have to talk. <laughs> no, you have to. That's the only. No, it would be it. more forced on the the person playing Princess Peach. You have to talk to this guy. I don't want to talk we, to this guy. No, you have to. You understand? I think it'd be more of a nightmare for me the other way around. It's like uh, Princess Peach is calling you right now. Like oh okay, like what? Like I don't even know what to say. What would you say to Princess Peach, Basie, since you're so? confident i uh i'd say hey princess peach nice ass also great pair of titties i wouldn't would. say that's princess peach i would be like um is this princess peach and then she would do the princess peach voice i guess and i would be like <laughs> you'd cream i'd not be like no, i wouldn't like cream. i wouldn't i wouldn't come because i'm really? not uh i'm not a degenerate i'm sure you cream. would though not a goon case. Yeah. You love gooning, so. No, I'd ask if Luigi was there. And Mario. Can you put Mario on the phone? <laughs> yeah, was Mario there? I know. I'd be like, are you in another castle? <laughs> she, hang, she hangs up immediately. <laughs> yeah, she probably would. Burp, burp. Oh, it seems like the line is dead. <laughs> <laughs> eh, sorry, kid. Maybe uh, good luck next time. Oh, I'm sorry, Mario. I'm going through a tunnel. I have to hang up the phone right now. Um, yeah, enjoy the mask too. Yeah, I, 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 they didn't make it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hangs up. Man, Nintendo Power used to run like. Remember, they ran a contest where you could just have your own room in uh, that Zelda game. So there's just like a Zelda game. I think it's a Link to the Past where if you do a thing, you can go to a room and it's like this is the Chris H room. Oh yeah, shit. There's like a like, bunch of rupees. Looks like a guy there. Do you think there's Nintendo like is like? I don't know. I was really cool. like, we're not ruining our fucking game to put some guy named Chris into <laughs> Legend of Zelda. <laughs> like, you have to do it. He won the Nintendo Power Contest. Oh, he did it. How did we, like, get ourselves into this fucking deal with the <laughs> devil where Nintendo Power fucking decides the fate? <laughs> and uh, if you win this contest in the next Mario, uh, you can get modeled into it as a boss. And Nintendo has to do it. They have to put you in the new Mario. It'd be so funny. Just a completely per different person, like running, running the 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 fucking Nintendo Power, and just making all these fucking promos. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> We're gonna have a contest where uh, we change Mario's name to your name if you win. <laughs> well, remember the Nintendo Power thing with the Legend of Zelda, like Legend of Zelda Two, and there was like actual golden like swords and like. Crowns and there's like a, that a Zelda or thing, or was shit. that like an at Atari game? Oh, that was the Atari thing, but they did something for Legend of Zelda 2. I think they had they had some fucking jewel bejeweled sword or something for Legend of Zelda, but yeah, there was the Atari one where it was like a crown, a sword, and something else. Nintendo Power used to go off, they used to have all sorts of contests and shit like that. When I was getting Nintendo Power, all they were talking about was like fan films and some guy made custom punch out action figures yeah, everything i hear about nintendo power makes it sound like the the uh, the coolest video game it was magazine. sick dude. i don't really know of any other video game i would run to the mailbox get a nintendo power flip through it you go to the reviews and every game is rated like six or above because they couldn't be mean to nintendo games or they wouldn't get like early copies uh, i mean that's just every Company, video that's company true at this point all the editors were like really mean to people that would write in letters they'd like be like really sarcastic and be like uh you're a you're stupid <laughs> it, was Fuck you. it was great dude
Um, but then they stopped making magazines. They still make. Can you get like a Mad Magazine subscription? Who still like who would still have Ooh, a know. Mad Magazine subscription? Like, it just seems like I don't know some uh probably some dumb loser idiot. Probably some idiot. Uh, yeah, probably some you're... dumb dumb. If you're a fucking idiot who has a Mad Magazine subscription, um, email unsubscribe in so right can, now. Yeah, call in so we can laugh at you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dummy. So can just imagine being so stupid. Imagine being that dumb. Oh, like, bitch. Holy fuck! That is the stupidest thing I've ever fucking heard. Cringe. Cringe. Ever someone Cringe. who was subscribed to like every single video game magazine because there was a lot. There was like a PlayStation one. There was like Xbox Gamer game magazine gamer magazine and they're just like i have to be subscribed to all of them or i might miss like one or i might like, not be a gamer my friends might not call me a gamer a anymore bitch of commentary guys yeah. i'm a gamer please well, I'm see a gamer. i was like when, when i actually did start getting into video games i like the first the one of the first games that i played was world of warcraft and the only way to find help for that game is is to look it up online so I, I I figured out the Google tactic really quick for pretty much any game that you could just like go on the internet and not really need a Nintendo power to find cheat codes. But that's, that's the thing, like finding out about the new games is is the more fun part about it. But See, for me, it was like that. That. Fuck, no. fuck finding things out for yourself. Uh, install. Install shit and Google shit. Be a Google gamer. Nobody likes a non Google gamer. For me, I had all my game, the game shit, all the games on the TV and the consoles were downstairs in the basement, and the computer was upstairs. So if I wanted to needed like a walkthrough or something, I'd, I'd have to run all the way upstairs. But then it became a whole thing like of like, are you using the computer and playing games? Like, no, mom, I just need to look something up. So like, I would have to like strategically use like, all right, computer time to look up, you know, how to beat. Uh, dungeons and Zelda, and then you were more scheduled than you are right now. Yeah, when it was video game time, I would go in, go downstairs, and it's try like the, to remember everything. It's like the classic meme where it's like, uh, men when they ask where the ketchup is, and it's a fridge door, and the ketchup's right there, and it's like men when uh, there's a a sniper in uh, Escape from Tarkov, three hundred meters away in a bush. Uh, and you see the faint glint of his sniper scope, and you blast him. You know that is a pretty. It's funny one of those. Movie. It's kind of like that, honestly. My Anyways, friend... I have to go uh, eat. So, well, can we ra- can you wrap up the episode then? Uh, yeah. Except you for can... the joke. You can find us at post unavailable uh, dot io. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's, it's just us and we're running around eating <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all I got for this uh, hey, tune in next time when we talk about owning noobs epically mm-hmm. but you can also find us on uh, Instagram at post on available pod and on YouTube at post on available and also on iTunes and Snapchat wherever you get a podcast um, big thanks to everyone who chipped into the last week's episode and all the sort of from the inside studios sort of artists that have been giving intros for us every week, such as uh, Jazz007, uh, JT Gaming, uh, Alfonso4, some great people over there. So shout out to them. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll see you guys next week. I don't have anything else to. Did I miss something? Did I miss anything? You there forgot are a few monkey noises, but yeah. there we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now that's how you finish it.